To anyone who's ever heard these words, you can't teach editing. Creative editing can't be taught. You've either got it or you don't. I am sorry that you've had to hear that. And I'm here to tell you, it's a lie. And help explain why? Let's take a spin around a closed racetrack in a quarter million dollar Ferrari. My little family and I went on a road trip this summer and on our way back to LA, we stopped in Las Vegas and we stayed overnight at the Luxor. Now, there are a lot of things one can do in Las Vegas that neither my wife or I are all that into, but there is one thing that I most definitely am interested in uh, and that would be exotic car racing. So the next morning we headed out to a place called Dream Racing. Now Dream Racing has its own enclosed track on the infield of the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I have no idea how many millions of dollars of cars are parked out right here, but I get to drive two of them. Now there are actually multiple exotic car companies in Las Vegas and the reason I went with Dream Racing was because I wanted to go through their process. I wanted to go through their instructional session at the beginning and then have an instructor telling me how things work when I'm sitting in a race car simulator and getting practice laps there. And then if you want, which, and I actually did this, you can go to another car. I went out in a Maserati for some practice laps. What'd you think? Oh, that's, that's just the warm up. So that when the time comes for you to sit down in your Ferrari or your McLaren or whatever you choose, you're ready to go. You have a ridiculous amount of power jumping into action at the tap of the accelerator and it hugs the corners like you would not believe. You can feel the tires just struggling in this war against gravity. And even though gravity is pinning you to one side in your harness, you can feel that the tires are winning. You go around the track sitting next to a professional race car driver telling you exactly what to do. But even with all these detailed instructions, it's still a lot to take in. And the next thing you know, you're done. Now we're gonna slow down. <laughs> it's humbling to be told exactly what to do by an experienced race car driver and to still clearly have so much room for improvement. Now, there are millions of people who drive cars every day, and out of that number, there are only like a handful of people who would be considered genuinely world-class, like truly great professional drivers. And when you see what they do and the expertise that they bring, it's really easy to look at them and say, it's like, man, how do they do what they do? This is incredible. You can't teach this kind of stuff. You either got it or you don't. It's the same thing with editing. Jeff Colvin wrote a book whose title pretty much says it all. Talent is overrated. What really separates world-class performers from everyone else. Certain people are born with attributes that mean that they will have an easier time doing some things than others. But that's only the beginning of a journey of practice, learning, and practice, and learning. And you repeat that over and over and over again. Jack, how was it? That was sweet. Good. That was very, very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. So when people tell you, you can't teach editing, you can't teach storytelling, you can't teach race car driving, you've either got it or you don't. I'm here to tell you, those people are wrong. Now, those people are not lying. That nine out of 10 times, they genuinely believe what they're saying because they don't know how to explain it any other way. And here's why. When you see mastery in action, masters make things look easy, simple, super elegant, and you're like, how on earth did they do that? Mastery is all about learning from master teachers, then doing, then learning, then doing, and doing it over and over and over again. That's the way it works with race car driving. That's the way it works with powerful storytelling in your editing. Heck, that's the way it works in life. So the next time someone tells you creative editing can't be taught, you've either got it or you don't, I want you to, number one, smile. Number two, assume that they mean the best. And number three, 
continue on your journey of proving them wrong. That journey should definitely include subscribing to this channel if you haven't done it already. Second, listen to people who are spreading the knowledge of creative storytelling, like Sven Pape with This Guy Edits and Steve Holfish's Art of the Cut interviews with dozens of master storytellers. So in the meantime, remember, when it comes to telling stories that matter, it can be done and you can do it. Hey buddy, there's some pretty fancy cars here. That is a Ferrari. What do you think about the Ferrari?